Welcome to Ortho Eval Pal, where we help you build confidence in your orthopedic evaluation and management skills. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of the Ortho Eval Pal podcast. My name is Paul Marquis, your host, and um, today we're going to be talking about swelling in the knee, intraarticular versus extraarticular swelling. Uh, before I get started, Obviously, you know, we're doing a podcast here, so it's going to be difficult to show special tests on how to evaluate these types of patients and how to perform the test specifically. So if you um, wait till the end of the show and uh, pick up our show notes, you can go to the show notes and while you are there, you can click on the links and it will take you to videos on how to perform these uh, different special tests. Okay, I'm going to give some explanation on why you do the certain tests and exactly how to do them. And so uh, getting to the uh, show notes is going to be very important for you so that you can uh, help piece this all together. Ultimately, I want to put together a nice course where we can look at multiple diagnoses, take patients from beginning to end, and do a nice evaluation and talk about the proper management of these uh, patients. So um, keep that in mind. And, and with that in mind, we're going to go ahead and get started. So the other thing I, I, I think you should really do is pick up a three ring binder, download all of my show notes, and keep them in this binder because as we get going, we're going to have different segments. Like right now, we're talking about the knee. Our next segment will be the shoulder. The next segment will be the foot and ankle. Then we're going to get into the cervical spine and then the lumbar spine. And you can take a three ring binder and place all of these in there and make yourself a nice little clinical guide that you can use. And I also have some really nice guides that we're going to have uh, on our website uh, at Ortho Eval Pal, where you can pick these up and it's going to have a nice explanation with algorithms on how to manage different types of problems with pictures and video links so you can actually see how we're doing these tests and how we're evaluating these patients. So with that in mind, let's go ahead and get started. Let's talk about effusion of the knee and we're going to talk about swelling. Okay, so, you know, what is the difference? What's the difference between swelling intra articularly inside the joint or extra articularly which is outside the joint well for me it really helps me to rule out certain types of problems okay and so if somebody is having swelling let's say on the uh, patella tendon or on the tibial tubercle but really nowhere else in the knee then we know that that problem is pretty localized that the inflammation is localized to the tendon or to the tubercle um, but if you see somebody who has globalized swelling inside the knee in the capsule, okay, um, that is intraarticular swelling, an indicator that somebody may have a meniscus tear or an ACL tear or a fracture inside the joint. Remember, your joint, your um, tibiofemoral joint, is surrounded by this tissue called the capsule or the synovium, okay. That holds all the fluid inside the joint, it helps to hold the joint together also. So, just like a water balloon, if you were to inject more water into a water balloon, that water balloon would get bigger. Not only would it get bigger, but it would get tighter, okay? And we know that distension of that capsule, or as we stretch that capsule out, it shuts down the quadricep muscle. So understanding um, if the swelling is intraarticular versus extraarticular can kind of give you an idea on what the diagnosis could be. So if somebody has isolated swelling to the medial side of the knee and they have tenderness with a valgus stress test to their knee and you're suspicious of an MCL, then it's probably an MCL. Okay, but if they have a positive brush test with intraarticular swelling, you need to be thinking about all those structures that are inside the joint. Okay, now I just mentioned the brush test. This is a test that I love to do to identify if somebody has intraarticular swelling. If you go into the show notes and click on the video link, you'll be able to see exactly how I do it on a patient who actually has an effusion in the knee. And you'll see this in multiple videos that I do with uh, patients with knee problems. And so um, it's important that you do that test appropriately. Do it right. Listen to how I explain it into the, in the video. And this will be super helpful when you're evaluating your patient. All right. So it's called the brush test. And it can be very, very helpful in determining um, if a person has intra or extra articular swelling. So if you have intra articular swelling, swelling throughout the joint, the best way to get rid of that swelling is through compression. Okay, some sort of a compression sleeve or maybe an ice cuff that has compression in it. 
um, and or elevation. And by elevation, we mean getting that knee above the heart. So your back is flat on a, on a table or on a, on a floor, bed, whatever it might be, and your knee is elevated above your heart. It's really one of the best ways to get rid of swelling. Now, contrary to popular belief, people think that icing a structure can help get rid of swelling, and it can't physiologically do that. We're going to have an episode just on the indications for heat and ice. This is something that I taught uh, at the university level for five years. I'll give you a nice explanation on why that is, and it's going to come to you clearly um, when to prescribe ice and when to uh, prescribe heat. So that'll uh, really be helpful. So again, um, we like to use the brush test. If you want to get more information, you want to get these show notes, go to www.orthoevalpal.com dot com forward slash swelling and if you have any questions please go to the website you can ask me some questions please feel free to go to iTunes and uh, rate and review us uh, we'd really appreciate that a lot of our videos are going to YouTube also please like those and be a subscriber and you'll get all the information as soon as it comes out um, directly to you so if you have any questions give me a jingle hope to see you at the next episode my name is Paul Marquis your host of Ortho Val Pal thanks we hope you've enjoyed this video, and for more awesome content, go to orthoevalpal.com. Can't wait to see you there.